All right, this is a paint booth, uh, some plans that I have. Uh, this will allow four people to use this paint booth at one time. It's based off of using half inch foam and it's eight foot long. Each uh, partition is two foot by two foot. And I use a Gen Air uh, oven fan that's got the motor separated from the blower so that the uh, fumes don't go through an electric motor. I'm um, using Schedule 40 PVC and grill glue with the foaming kind and um, one inch fine thread screws and one 5 8 inch thread. These are just sheetrock screws. And let's go ahead and go on through this. This is a picture of the inside after the cabinet's made. Those are 12 inch by 12 inch filters. I've just kind of tabbed the sides of it out very corners of it. I've just tabbed them a little bit so they spit back down in there a little tighter. See a little more detail there. All the foam is held in place by other pieces of foam that are uh, uh, basically screwed in place after I've wetted it and used the uh, glue from the uh, Gorilla Glue. Uh, the This is made, uh, oh it took me about five hours to get all this together, buy the material and, and make it and uh, it's a proven uh, design i've used it and uh, works real well it does bend outside so it takes the fumes out of there you do want to coat this with an acrylic latex paint if you don't the boys can spray on the sides of it with just a regular uh, paint and it will dissolve the, the plastic or the foam um, there's the four uh, pieces it's designed to set on top of a table and uh, it ducks out through the very back, right through this orange PVC, goes down, then out to the Gen Air, which is piped outside. There's another view from the back side, sits on the table. And um, my other model, I had cut this all off, but this actually strengthens it, so I went ahead and left it this on there. And you could also clamp this to a table if you wanted to with that. Um, there it is a look at the back side, and I'm getting ready to paint it with some acrylic paint. I'll I don't glue these sections together. They're just dry fit. After a few years of using them, they'll get paint and stuff in there, so you'll want to be able to take them apart and clean them out. Uh, this is one of the side pieces. One of these pieces is 24 inches, and the other one is uh, uh, 2 foot 6 inches, so it's 30 inches wide. So don't make the mistake I did and make two of these when you need one of them to be another, well, almost 10 inches, uh, 8 inches longer than this other one, so 24 or 6 inches longer. So um, these angles change because they meet up here. So anyway, this is just an extra, and I use the scrap to uh, allow me to fit all the pieces together. And there was a little bit closer shot. They're just, um, and I also used uh, screws in the grooves of those. I ran the screws down there. That told me where to put the other screws in. And makes assembling a lot easier. So um, you have to take the other screws out before we put it together. But um, once the glue's in there, you don't have a whole lot of time. So um, anything you can do to make it assemble faster is the better off it is. And there they are again. And I'm pointing that out because that's a, a pretty good tip. I did have to put a tube before underneath it, so I didn't knock the, the screws out of place. And there's the layout. Um, this this is not correct because I had had for some reason had the assumption that both panels were the same. This panel here should be actually six inches longer than that panel, so it changes all these angles on there. And I had made it, and then I went to start assembling. Go wait a second, what did I forget? And then I looked at my drawing. And I thought, well, that one's supposed to be 30 inches, and this one's 24 inches. So these numbers on the outside are the same, but the stretch of the angle is different because it's a wider piece and uh, so it doesn't work that way. So yeah, I have an extra part over there. I'll have to do it. And once them are glued on there, they will not fit. So again, one piece is 24 inches. This piece right here would be 20, uh, 30 inches. So yeah, that's why you need the two pieces of, of, uh, of, of board. So anyway, it makes a great, uh, um, spray booth it takes the fumes outside again you need to coat this with an acrylic latex get it get a good paint before you even bring it in because the boys can take the cheap paint and it'll just drill a hole right through that with that paint so that's what the modelers do and, and uh, 
just uh, that's really all you did give it a good kick also if you want to cover up all the screws you can just put some of that uh, pink putty in there sand it down and it'll make a real nice looking box my box doesn't have a lot of trim on it and so but it works and go back here to the very front you can put some trim on here to make it but you know hey it's going to be all painted up um, what I would do with these filters is, is just pop them out, spray them out with a with a uh, spray gun and reuse them. Um, there, Lowe's has them, uh, two for uh, four dollars. So you know that's not a whole lot of money. And uh, once they get all coated up with with that, you can kind of shake them and give them a spray and clean them up. Other than that, you can put some new ones. I think I replace them every couple of years. And uh, but you know, hey. The, this is going to be painting this white tomorrow and uh, it makes good that Gorilla Glue you know, every joint you need to spray them wet uh, I'd spray them and then wipe it wet and then uh, you know your glue is on the other part so the, the water actually activates the glue and you got to be real careful because you can get glue to set up in here where these pieces go so don't get your glue too close to the edges otherwise you're going to be spending a lot of time wiping it out and, if, and while you're setting it up, um, you'll find that this glue will start expanding and it'll fill that void and uh, it'll cause you some problems. So you need to make sure you don't use too much of that glue because it will actually come out of there and, and uh, keep you pretty busy. The fine threads, she rock screws are really uh, ideal because they don't strip out so bad. Uh, you get a coarse thread. They will strip out and you'll be trying to get them out of there so um, you know whenever you're putting those in from the top the fine thread so just always use fine thread when you're working with the foam and it works out real well just use the four inch hole saw those are just slipped in there they're not even glued I don't even glue those they just pop out and uh, um, it does a real good job of uh, pulling the uh, fumes out of the room and uh, it's not too big of a fan to where it'll freeze you out but it'll it will pull the fumes out i mean they just uh, it's a noticeable difference and, and it's a great improvement and there it is on the table with uh, the fourth for that you could add some trim right here and add some lights in there i'm going to probably put some lazy susans in there uh, this is like so you can put the little project in there and then turn around we build a lot of pinewood derby cars or ranger derby cars right now we're building some canteens and wooden canteens and lanterns and stuff so these this makes a great uh, spray booth to keep the fumes out from your your different boys and 